Ah, freedom. Heaven letter number 5863. December 13, 2016. Abolish fear. Abolish fear from the face of the earth. Oh, to think what life would be like without fear. How free you will be. How good you will feel. You will breathe. You will dance on earth. You will spin and whirl. Look at you dance. This is freedom. You have been seeking freedom even as you may have looked away from it. You may even have looked askance at freedom. Freedom means that you will dance. Even if you have never been able to dance before, you will dance now. You will revel in freedom. You will sing, too. What a boon freedom is. Freedom is your open sesame. It is the key to your life. Life not in freedom is a life of subjugation. Give yourself the freedom of a life of service. In fear, you are for the taking. Fright makes greed. Greed is not freedom. Greed restricts you. Greed does not behoove you. One common fear is thinking there is not enough to go around. Greed is fear. Scarcity is fear. Unhappiness is fear. Freedom is rare. Yes, the world could enshroud you in fear and keep you bound to world thought. Laws may restrict rather than free, and you can get caught in a maelstrom of conformity. What a balancing act. How do you give tribute to what is the norm expected of you and still be free? You don't want to break laws. You are not intending to be a rebel. A rebel bounces off another's way of life instead of his own. No one wants to be shackled. Everyone wants his own way of thinking. Those who would subject you to their way are not free. The one who chains another is not free. Sometimes the only freedom you are certain of is the onerous freedom to suffer. What's with that? When you suffer, it is like there is something you are not expressing even to yourself. You are not to be cut to size. If you wear a size 10 shoe, it is painful to wear a smaller size. Perhaps you would like to go barefoot. How you would love to live in an unleashed world. To run on bare grass would be wonderful. To wear moccasins would be great, too. Oh, to run free. To love others doesn't mean you have to abide by others' thinking, yet, of course, it is also for you to allow others to be free. You are not meant to be the only one. You don't want to infringe on others, yet you hanker to be free. You don't want to be in a bind. Do you sometimes wonder whether you want freedom and all the responsibility that freedom implies? In some weird way, do the chains that bind also free? Hmm, you may shrug your shoulders. Certainly, you know that ravage and war are not freeing. War is the most unfree thing you know. War hurts everyone, winner and loser alike. Life in a body, yours and others, anyone's, is too precious to cut short just like that. It is a waste. Warden and prisoner alike are enchained. Neither is free in terms of the world. What is this about freedom being your inalienable right? In truth, beloveds, freedom exists in love. You are free to rise above all kinds of impediments. The greatest freedom is to love. Love frees you. You are responsible to love. Love yourself, and you are free. Love others, and you free them from being bound to your thoughts. Love is freeing, if you but knew the essence of giving love freely. You are finding out now how to love. Free yourself to love yourself, and then you will love all others, and all others will follow you in vast love. Your being. You are free to love and to sing songs of love. Be love. Herald love. Love. Love now. Love beyond measure. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org